The tag team of Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis is impossible to guard, and here's why. The combination of Luka Doncic's IQ and his next level skill set, mixed in with Porzingis' height, athleticism and shot making ability, makes a deadly formula that teams will have problems figuring out. The Mavs use this to their advantage by exclusively running all their pick and rolls with everyone on the perimeter, as well as mostly setting middle third or side ball screens. And the most important detail, they always try to have no one occupying the strong side corner. Stay tuned as you're going to find out why. I'm Coach Pierce and welcome to another video. The way the Mavs execute their pick and rolls is great for when you have a player like Kristaps Porzingis who is a lethal three point shooter and also has the ability to put the ball on the floor and finish at the rim. As I mentioned earlier that the Mavs exclusively run middle or side ball screens, this allows Porzingis to have options whether that's rolling to the basket or picking and popping. When the ball screen is set in the middle with Luka going downhill, unless the defense switches, the pop will always be open. That's because Luka is too good for the defense not to make him give the ball up. This gives the Mavs many advantages, as if the defense traps, hedges or is in drop coverage, Porzingis will be open, or Luka will create for himself. Switching is possibly the only way depending on who switches onto Porzingis or Luka, but even then, it's still a mismatch. Having 5 out spacing, especially in the NBA, creates a lot of space for the pick and roll, especially with the defensive 3 second rule. The Mavs are well equipped as they have great shooters and guys that cut off ball. Let's take a look at when the Mavs have an open side corner and how they exploit it with Pazingas. If the defense wants to hard hedge, trap or be in drop coverage, having an open side corner can give you a lot of options. The best option is for the pick and pop or the short roll. The pop is very effective as look at where the next rotation has to come from and especially having a player like Pazingas who has the range on his shot, good luck trying to contest his shot. Also, it helps to have a player like Luka who understands the game, as he will never hesitate to make that pass. Now, here is an action that the Mavs run a lot, as it usually starts with either a handoff or an up screen by the same side wing. And we are going to look at when the defense ices. This first up screen or handoff gives Luka the option to attack the space or play against the switch as it's usually a guard that sets the up screen. Then they immediately go into a side ball screen. The key here to open up the pop is for the guard to attack the big who is in ice. So it either opens up the pop or it forces the defense to switch. As the Mavs have good three point shooters on the perimeter, it forces the defense to choose who they want to receive the ball. It's usually the same result either way. Let's take a look at what happens when Porzingis rolls with an open side corner. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. I've been Coach Pierce and we're over and out.